Um, I sold a monolithic dome house in Centennial that had like a lazy river inside of it, one of the first saltwater pools. The whole thing was designed by this aeronautical engineer and it was really tough. Like five agents had tried to sell it before me. Nobody could, partly because there were like parrots flying around inside. And um, in the end, I got it on like an international dome tour and got it featured on Nine News. And we found a futurist who this, this couple that believed they lived in the future and they bought it so it was the impossible house to sell one of the most unique transactions i ever had it was a blast you know the new era group is something that just evolved um, i because of my background in technology, ended up having a lot more leads. At one point, if you Google Denver Lofts, Denver Condos, or Denver Real Estate, my websites were ranked number one. So we were rolling in like 600 internet leads a month. So we needed people to work on my brought on buyer's agents. And then I found that, you know, some of the best people, the really good humans, they, they couldn't reach through a phone and grab somebody and, and make that connection. So they became independent agents with me. So we had our own brokerage. And it just, it just grew organically. Um, what makes me the most proud is that, you know, our kind of our rule is, you know, only good humans allowed. So I think there's a lot of sickness in the real estate industry that glorifies gross commission income as your measure of success. And at the New Era Group, I think we try to really think like entrepreneurs and we look at our dollar per hour, we look at net profit, not necessarily just gross commission income, and look, think like business people to try and create the job we want. Owning an independent brokerage wasn't for me. I didn't love the operations aspect of owning a brokerage, the file retention, the file auditing. Uh, I love the marketing. I love the mentoring of agents. And so becoming a team was the logical choice. Um, I got offers from other companies to buy the brokerage, to become teams at, at other companies, sat down with all the leaders. And really, your castle, I mean, my dad's a broker with my team. My brother-in-law's a broker, brother-in-law's brother's a broker with team. People to go back to technology 20 years ago with me are on the team, and I had to find a place that was the best fit for them. And your castle offered a tremendous amount of value as far as training, marketing support for the cost. I mean, it was just the best deal by far. Also, I'm a fifth generation Colorado native. You know, I started a Colorado company and I found a great brokerage to have my team at that was also a Colorado company. So it was just a great fit. Well, I started my career in IT. I'd been in college for like 10 years and managed to graduate with a master's in computer information systems in the end. And, you know, it was a great career. Uh, worked for some really fun companies, went through the whole dot-com boom and bust. Um, but at the end of the day, I just kind of felt like I was making money for shareholders. And it didn't matter how hard I worked and, you know, whether I got to go on sales reward trips or anything like that. At the end of the day, it was a kind of a fixed income situation. Um, so I happened to fall into real estate, to be honest with you. I, I didn't have any passion for houses or particular interest in the industry. There were just some other people that had left tech that were doing it. And I said, hey, I'll give it a try. And then it turned out to be what I was meant to do. Um, I find it so rewarding to be able to help people with their largest purchase, to work with people when they're very stressed out. You know, normally a real estate transaction is one of the top 10 most stressful things you do. So to be there at that time in people's lives it was really rewarding. And, you know, I, I jumped in feet first and managed to sell 32 homes my first year and I've never looked back. It's been fantastic. It was what I was meant to do. Well, I'm going to make it simple. There was a really good article, and this is a good tip. If you give a house a name, it sells for a premium. So we'll, we'll name it something like, you know, Haunted Harry, and say the ghost comes with it, and we'll make a story around Haunted Harry, and it'll sell for a premium because we've got a good name put to it. How's that? Wow.